Yeah. Oh yeah, I know what you need, girl. <laughs> yup. So Yes you are. I can see it, girl. And I congratulate you on that. She just trying to find a compliment. You know someone who's the heir to her oxygen. Cause lately she been meeting just the opposite. Ain't the type of girl to ask if you got a whip. Cause she got her own and she got a home. Again. So before I start this video, I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who supported me who by subscribing to the channel, by liking, watching, and sharing or commenting on my videos. I really appreciate it. I want this um, channel to just continually to grow and to be something that is helpful to someone out there. This video is going to be different from the types of videos I usually bring out. First off, I just want to make use this video to make an announcement that I'm going to change my upload schedule from Sundays to Wednesdays. It's been really hard to try to film and then post and edit and everything on Sundays. So I'm just going to change it to Wednesdays. That way I have enough time to film, um, edit, and then put out quality videos. So in this video, I'm going to just be talking about this hair that I've gotten. Um, you know, I got it to the YouTuber thing and go like this. I'm going to keep looking at the uh, viewfinder. I just want to make sure everything is on point. Anyways, I got this hair from Wow African Hair. It is a 360 lace wig. It is 180% density. Silky straight Brazilian virgin hair. This is my first time ever wearing Brazilian hair. I know Brazilian hair is such a common type of hair for people to get, but I'm always late to everything. Like I just started watching um, Flavor of Love, which came out like 10 years ago, so I'm late to everything. So this is my first time trying Brazilian hair, and I really wanted to try it because I wanted something that looked super natural. And to me, this looks natural, like. There's a black girl out there with hair that's like this straight and that's this flat. Um, so yeah, so let me tell you about this hair. Like I said, it's a 360 lace wig, which means I can part my hair any types of ways. I'm not going to do that right now because I'm not about that life. But I can part it any types of different ways. The hair is really straight. When it first, oh, first, let's first talk about how long it took. So I ordered it March 3rd and it came last Wednesday. Wednesday was the 29th. So it took a really long time to come. Um, I've seen a lot of YouTubers said that their shipment was quick. I don't know how that's happening because even on the website it says that it takes like a good 15 to 20 days for everything to be processed because when you order it, you kind of get to customize it because you pick the color you want your lace to be, the size of the cap and everything like that. So. It says that it takes like a good 15, 20 days. So I don't know how people are saying they got it in a week, but I mean, that's great for them. That wasn't the case to me. It did take 26 days to arrive, which I was really disappointed about because I had all these plans about what I wanted to do and the hair came super late. So I was disappointed in that. But my biggest disappointment was when I first took the wig out of the box and I was just like, what is this? Like I paid a lot of money for this hair and I'm just like well to me it's a lot of money it was like 200 something dollars um I saved up my money and that's how I was able to get it but so other people who wear like expensive hair all the time I guess 200 dollars is nothing but to me 200 dollars is like 200 dollars anyways when I first took it out the box I was really disappointed because I was like what the hell it looks so dead I was just like and the thing about me is like I'm not a like I'm not a hair guru. I don't know how to do like cool things to hair and baby hairs and gel and all that stuff. So when I buy hair, I want it to be, when I buy hair, I want it to be something where it's like, I just slap it on, slap it. I just put it on and then that's it. So I was really upset that it was just like, like it just looked like something I had to do so much to it. But, um, after a while, like I just put it in my head, like I paid this amount for this hair. I'm not gonna go through the whole process of sending it back, so let me try to do something with it. So, the thing that I like about this wig is that I didn't have to do so much customization, like I didn't have to do a lot of plucking because it was kind of pre plucked. It was like the part wasn't super close, the part has had a little space. I plucked it even more just to like make it a little bit wider. 
I took some of my foundation and I colored the inside of the lace. I didn't bleach the knots or anything like that because I had a bad experience and I didn't want to try that with this wig. Um, let me see. I put layers in it. I'm not the best hair cutter, so my layers are kind of like... They're okay. <laughs> but, like, this side is better than this side. So I put layers in it so that it doesn't... Because when it first came out, it was just too blah. There was, like, nothing going with it. Even right now, it's, like, real simple. But I like it like this because, like I said, I want something that looks, like, looks super natural. Because I'm into that natural beat look at the moment. I know you can't say because I have, like, eyeshadow and all this stuff going on. But right now, I'm really into, like, that soft beat look. So I wanted my hair to also be soft and cute or whatever the case may be. So... I like this hair. It didn't come with any um it didn't come with any smell or anything like that. I know people are really concerned about things like that. I did not wash it. I flat ironed it a little bit because the it was like a little bit like higher on one side, so I flat ironed it a little bit. I didn't bleach the knots, like I said, I just colored it with my foundation. Overall, I like this hair so far. I've been wearing it for only two days. So I mean I can just go off of the two days that I've been wearing it. I like the amount of density that it has. I just think that it looks really natural. And I love the fact that I didn't have to do all these extra plucking. I didn't cut any baby hairs. I think this hair already comes with baby hairs because there were some shorter pieces in the front. Um, throughout me wearing it, if anything, you know, spectacular happens or like something falls apart. I'll let you guys know, but so far I really like this hair and I would definitely recommend it. Um, but again, if you're if you're planning to buy hair for a special event, just keep in mind that it's going to take a good 15 to 20 days to come. So like a good, give yourself a good month in advance to make sure you're going to get the hair and then you're going to have enough time to customize it. When you buy the hair, don't be like me, don't judge about book by its cover. When it first comes, it's gonna look dead. You're gonna need to do a little bit. But if you're like me and you're not a hair guru and you're not that skilled in doing different things to hair, then then this hair, like this company is probably perfect. This company or these types of weights are perfect for you because the part, even if I didn't wanna pluck it some more, it would be fine to wear it. Um, and what I did was I just took got to be glue. Oh, I braided my hair the way I braided my hair. There's like a straight part, and then my all oh, my braids are going this way to make it lay as flat as possible. And then I had I got the got to be this shell that everybody talks about on YouTube, and I put it in the front. My wig is kind of forward because I'm insecure about my forehead, <laughs> so I put my wig a little bit forehead forward, and then I put this to um. Keep, keep the thing from flapping and then I tied it down so overall really like this hair I got it from wow African um, the wow wow African.com the thing that I was like a little mm, confused about is I saw wow African and I thought it was like an African co African company but I don't think it is because it came from China so I don't know but yeah it was it, it's a good company the box came with the hair, um, the box came with the hair, a wig cap, and um, a band for you to attach to your wig to make it more secure. So I have that actually attached right now. So I have a little flap with the wig, but if I want, like, I can clip it because it also comes with some clips. I think there's a clip here on the sides at the top. Th listen, this is this company is not a new company. It's all over YouTube. Um, if you just want my opinion on it, I would definitely say it's worth getting. It's nice. Um, it doesn't smell like it doesn't feel like you bought cheap hair, and you don't have to do so much to it. So that's basically my review on this hair. And yeah, anyways, thank you for joining me, and I will see you on a Wednesday on my new upload day. Bye. Audio production. Uh, real talk, girl. If you want it, you can get it real.